First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. That's giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh by Shem, meaning coming in the name of and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Today, today I'm trying to bring repentance to my people, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right? Hopefully, somebody listens and stop. And stop listening to the ways of the world, right? Because in this society, it's okay for you to break God's laws and there's no punishments, right? So our people got comfortable living this way, right? What I'm here to say is to hell with this society. That's right! Rules. Let me get 2 Maccabees 4.15, Isaiah chapter 5, verse 20. comfortable out here all people celebrating birthdays right we celebrating Christmas we celebrating every damn thing the white man gave us right he ain't even let us free yet right he's not we're still in captivity you right. gotta pay for water right is anybody listening out there second Maccabees chapter 4 verse 15 the book of 2nd Maccabees chapter 4 and verse 15. Not setting by the honors of their fathers, but liking the glory of the Grecians best of all. We like the glory of the Grecians best of all. Instead of following the customs and traditions our fathers were following, right, which are the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God, we want to turn to these Greco-Roman soldiers and follow them. Right. Right? The ones that raped, robbed, and murdered us, we're gonna follow them. Right. That's dumb. Let me get that, Isaiah 520. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter five, verse 20. Wait out. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil, that put darkness for light, and light for darkness. Woe unto them that call evil good, and good evil. They saying it's a good thing to celebrate Christmas. Why? Because y'all hung niggas on trees? That's right. Is that why it's good to hang, it's good, it's good to celebrate Christmas? Because we hung niggas on trees? Because we hung spits on trees? We hung natives? We raped, robbed, and murdered them? It's okay to celebrate Christmas? That's what the Roman soldiers want us to think. Right. It's okay to do that. To hell with this system. That's right! Let me get uh, Leviticus 11 and 7. The book of Ele Leviticus, chapter 11, Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hump and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud, he is unclean to you. Of their flesh shall ye not eat, and their carcass shall ye not touch. They are unclean to you. They are unclean to us. But guess what? You could stop anywhere on the corner and buy pork. You can get a Roman Greco slice of pizza with pepperoni on it, and it's it's not against their laws. We gotta keep their laws, but they're saying to hell with God laws. To hell with your laws in this society. How about that? To hell with the white man's laws. Y'all gonna get everything y'all deserve, it's coming. Be prepared and make sure you eat your greens, honey. Make sure you eat your greens, there's a lot of work to do, honey. There's a lot of work. You're gonna be walking my dogs all around the block, honey. That's right. That's what's gonna happen. All praises. Let me get Isaiah 66 and 17. Verse 66. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 66, verse 17. They that sanctify themselves and purify themselves in the gardens behind one tree in the mist, eating swine's flesh and the abomination and the mouse shall be consumed together, mm. saith the Lord. Shall be consumed together. Lord. So just because 
You think it's okay to follow this wicked ass society because they say it's okay for you to eat the pork. Understand, there are severe consequences for breaking the laws of the Most High God. So just because the white man tells you it's okay does not mean it's okay. Let me get that. Leviticus 20 and 13. The book of Leviticus chapter 20 and verse 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. If one Jose Cuervo lieth with another Jose Cuervo, it's an abomination to the Lord. That's right! So now, this wicked society says, it's okay for you to do that. Just throw your flag in the air and walk the streets of Philly with a thong on. Right. It's okay. The Most High says, you're going to die in your wicked ways. Right. And drop down to 23. Verse 23. And ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation, which I cast out before you. Mm. For they committed all these things, and therefore I abhor them. For context, he said, don't follow in the manner of those nations that showed you that shit. Don't follow this white man. He don't love you. That's right. Why are you eating pork pepperoni pizza? That's his shit. Right. Why are you why you want to be a wrestler? They grease their bodies up and get <laughs> naked and wrestle. Why we want to follow them right. for? That's not our custom. Don't follow that. We have our own customs. Right. Let me get Romans 12 and 2. Exodus. This is Paul's letter to the Romans, chapter 12, verse 2. And be not conformed to this world, but, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove that what is, what is that, Salakia. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God perfect will of God. Do not conform to this wicked ass society. We don't want this shit y'all doing. We don't want nothing y'all got to offer because nothing you've ever offered us was good. To hell with this society. That's right! Oh, praise. The book of Exodus chapter 32 and verse 9. And the Lord said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. That's the problem here. The Most High called us stiff neck because the shit we was doing before. What was we doing before? Breaking the laws of the Most High God. What are we doing now? Breaking the laws of the Most High God. Right. So we are still a stiff neck people, following the ways of the white man, the oppressor, following Esau. Look, he pointed. That's his man's though. Back in the day, he would have hung you for betraying That's you. right! But I, I guess it's okay to be buddy-buddy packing peanut butter. <laughs> Let me get that. Uh, oh, my best. Let me get this, is the book of this is the book of Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. You know. But it should come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So if we don't hearken to the voice of the Most High God, all these curses are gonna come upon us. Slavery, we out here killing each other, men are women, women are men, confusion, Babylon, the great whore, everybody else's customs were accepted, except our own. Amazing. The book of 1 John, chapter 3, verse 4. Bring it out. Whosoever committed sin transgresses also the law, for sin is a transgression of the law. Society says that you can do anything you want to do, but if you sin, you're transgressing the law. You're breaking the law, that's what a sin is. But to sin is okay with America. To sin is okay in Babylon. In this wicked ass society, 
that we're so all comfortable in, it's okay to transgress the law of the Most High God. Bring that up. This is the book of Acts chapter 3, verse 19. Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. There we go. That's what we must do. We must repent and be converted. For what? So our sins may be blotted out. Repent, be converted, so that your sins may be blotted out. Bring that out. The book of Psalms, chapter 19 and verse 7. For the law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The law of the Lord is perfect, converting the soul. So now, if we are to repent and be converted, right? For a reason, the reason being that our sins may be blotted out and we must follow the laws in order to convert, right? But the law is done away with, what are we repenting from? That's right. Right? It makes no sense. Okay, keep going. Verse eight, the statutes of the Lord are, are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The judgments of the Lord are true and righteous all together. More to be desired are they than gold. Yeah, the, that much fine gold. Sweeter also than honey and the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is thy servant born. And in keeping of them, there is great reward. Who can, who can understand? Come. He said, the fear of the Lord endureth forever. Proverbs 1 and 7 says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We need to come back to these laws and commandments, right? This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, verse 5. Ye shall therefore keep my statutes and my judgment, which if a man do, he shall live in them. I am the Lord. If we keep his statutes and commandments, we shall live in them. The laws of the Most High God are life. The ways of the wicked pedophile rapists and murder are not. Right. I am Jesus. No, yeah. <laughs> I am Jesus. There's Jesus on the floor right here. Right. You're the Jesus on the floor right here. Right. You're a pedophile, a rapist, and a murderer. Yes, right. you are. That's right. right. Now you know who you are. Right. The Caucasus mountain dog knows who he is. Right. All praises to the Most High. Right. Bring that up. Come. The book of Sirach, chapter 1 and verse 18. The fear of the Lord is a crown of wisdom, making peace and perfect health to flourish, both which are the gifts of God, and it enlarges the, their rejoicing that love him. See what, I, see what I mean? It's okay in this wicked society for men to wear women's clothes right. and walk around like Barney. Sir, have you ever read the Bible in Greek? No, I don't speak that dog language. Right, that's The language right. the Bible was written in. I don't read that dog language. I got scholars that do, though. And have you bothered to ask them what they think it says? Hold on, here go one. Right. Here go one, one two. What, what's your question about the Greek? Have you read it? What's about the question? What's your question about the Greek? What of it have we, you read? We refer back to it. Right, you want John 1? Read it in Greek. You want John 1 in the Greek? Go ahead. I got Legesansu? it. I, know, Greek. Oh, oh, I can read it in the Greek. Right, want to read it in the Greek? Legesansu? Huh? Leges so? Pen Hellenikin ara leges? What is your preferred what is your preferred pronoun, uh, madam sir? <laughs> madam sir. Madam sir. Madam, sir. Madam sir, what's your preferred pronoun? Is it Zim or Z? Is it Shim? What is it? Is it they them? <laughs> Are you are you Baby Bob or are you Barney? Which one is it? Get him out of there. All right, who's that next to you? A BJ? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking devil. That's right. That's Pippi Longstocking and Barney right there. All praise. And for edification's sake, right? This is John one and one in the Greek. It says, 
NRK, Enho Logos, Kaiho Logos, and Pro Steon, Kaiho Logos, and Theos. So what was the point of that? All praise. That's crazy. Right? Let me get a... Uh, let me get Proverbs 72. But it's okay to do that. Back then, that shit was not allowed. We were killed for, for sins back in those days, right? In this wicked ass society, we can do whatever the hell we want to do, right? We want to walk around being weird, it's okay. Because the society says it's okay. Bring that up. Proverbs. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 20. He had taken a bag of money with him and will come home at the day appointed. 7 and 2. Salakia. This is uh, the book of Proverbs, chapter 7, verse 2. Keep my commandments and live. No, it says dress up like Barney and walk around with, with, with Pippi Longstock. Keep my, my commandments, commandments and, and live. live. No, it's okay. We should, you know, go against the laws of the Most High God. Keep my, my commandments, commandments and, and live. live. You sound insane. The society says it's okay to eat pork. Keep my, my commandments, commandments and live. We're supposed to listen to Whitey. Keep my, my commandments, commandments and live. Keep the commandments of the Most High God and That's live. Right. If you don't, you will die. Right. Thus saith the Bible. Bring that out. I'm going to close out with this. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 20. He had commanded no man to do wickedly. Neither had he given any man license to sin. Even though the society says it's okay, right. God never said you can sin against his laws. Right. Right. Keep the laws, come back to your heritage, come back to the culture. So-called blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, we're the salt of the earth. That's we're the chosen children. We're the children of the Most High God. We must repent and be converted with that shalom. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That is giving all praises, honor, and glory to the Most High God, whose name is Yahweh by Hashem, meaning coming in the name of and Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ shalom and Mawaf Lava Ball. Mawaf Lava Ball!